We have on the line with us Victoria from Cleveland. Tell us, Victoria, why are you so excited about these amazing space bags? Well, the love of my life was recently thrown into prison, and uh, it turns out that jail cells have no closet space at all. <laughs> I'll take 500. Victoria! <laughs> Miss Chase will not be purchasing space bags at this time. Thank you. Why are you shop blocking me? <laughs> I heard noises. Is that thing loaded? One of us is. Well, we're having an intervention for Victoria. Because of her drinking? No. She's grief shopping. Well, can you blame me? Emmett's in jail. I can't see him, and, and his lawyers won't tell me what's going on. Oh, honey, I know it hurts, but now you have to be strong. Oh, Melanie, you shouldn't be here trying to cheer me up. You should be back at your apartment with Alec. Joy can stay and keep me company. She has nothing better to do. <laughs> Again, for the record, I'm working for a private investigator and going to college. Oh, see? Joy's rich fantasy life will entertain me. <laughs> Alex out of town, so I can be here as long as you need me. Oh, thank you. You know, sometimes the best way to get over feeling sorry for yourself is to do something nice for someone else. Yeah, yeah, in bed. We've all gotten that fortune cookie. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. My PR agency represents the Kidney Foundation, and Good Morning America is going to give us an on-air spot. So we need a beautiful, charismatic spokesperson. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. <laughs> She meant Victoria. Selfless through the tears. This might be a good role for me. Melanie, you're right. I need to stop thinking about me and start thinking about me on television. 